Alrighty, hello and welcome everybody to tonight's fantastic dinosaur action. A little bit later than I had hoped, but that's alright. And it's going to be a stunner, pretty fantastic tonight, four colors. And I'm thinking of dipping my toe into five colors. You might think, oh, that sounds a little bit crazy. How could you possibly make that work? And are the things that you've added in, the things that you're splashing for, necessary? I certainly think so. They're certainly quite useful. Some things are kind of specific, but for the most part, I generally like options that can hate against multiple things and i'm just glad i remembered to uh make myself you know pretty big to start tonight good good yeah no i think that should be yeah, close enough close enough all right ley line of sanctity right off the bat i was thinking of using this as the thumbnail but it was pretty recently that i had done that i thought it's stampede dinos galta gonna put the four mana symbols behind it hmm. something about that mixture just kind of spoke to me but ley line of sanctity that that really spoke to me for me at least i've been facing a lot of black stuff mono black golgari which was of course uh, quite painful continues to be quite painful and rectos vampires a lot of that stuff with thought sees duress this is a deck that cares about having specific lands and if we don't see those specific lands it's painful stuff castle garenbrig sunken citadel the easiest illustration if anybody is new two sunken citadels at least one is chosen for green both of them tap for four mana for a land with an activated ability but then you get to tap castle garenbrig for six green two sunkens one castle three lands six mana so the opponent likely is going to stop that if they realize hey hmm that's what this opponent is doing you might get to surprise them possibly in game one but uh, sometimes you don't the duress it can't get rid of a creature but duress for one black to discard a non-creature certainly it is going to likely be the sylvan scrying or archdridge charm not fun thought sees of course likely ripping those things or it might be tyrannix rex and then i just don't draw into one of the other three after they get rid of potentially this one in my hand but i want to put a stop to that certainly because it seems so common ley line of sanctity sanctity it's kind of a tongue twister but because that stuff's common this seems to make sense i'll start off with it in game one give myself a very good chance against those decks and also against the vein ripper which is a targeted ability whenever a creature dies we lose two life they gain two life but then that just doesn't happen it's target opponent so if they can't target us they don't gain two we don't lose two and then the vein ripper becomes just a big flying creature and i'm not too worried about that but if the opponent can't really usually make us discard i get to do my game plan as much as possible or quite a bit more often for sure that's the name of the game hopefully well always ley line of sanctity is in our opening hand so that it can start on the battlefield but other than that everything is basically the same if i don't have ley line of sanctity in my opening hand there could be you know a very nice mixture and i don't want to mulligan just for this especially if it is game one i don't know what my opponent is if i have a good hand with one sunken one castle and one forest i would feel quite confident especially if it's sylvan scrying as well we could be looking at seven in that case if we can get the second sunken and whoo that would be lovely However, the white, Indatha Trium, gives us the sources of that. Restless Prairie as well. Switch that out with the uh, Restless Cottage. Yeah. 
what the, the the one that's green and black taps and becomes a a horror creature four four something like that but i do like the restless prairie also kind of because it uh becomes a llama i think that's kind of funny but when it attacks other creatures you control get plus one plus one this deck could be barfing and playing a lot of creatures so i could see some scenarios where that gains a lot of value i might have four or five creatures out and then the restless prairie's ability adds five total power to everything quite fantastic but this as a source of white one of three in death of triumphs maybe two and then a sunken citadel the first one likely we're going to be choosing green just for castle garenbig's ability but the second one we could choose white maybe we search for an in death a triumph boom all of a sudden we have the two sources of white for ley line but oh, got a hair stuck in my mouth one second i think i got it yeah anyways i'm getting sidetracked okay yeah should be good should be good extinction event still in there am i worried about the vein ripper enough that i should still have this in if ley line of sanctity kind of turns off the vein ripper i don't know we still need to take it out it is still a big flying creature and i don't have a lot of stuff with flying or reach at the moment so being able to just say goodbye to it that would be nice and anoint with affliction i've used it a little bit in the past mainly this is going to be against amalia oh selfless savior to give indestructible doesn't matter for one the black we exile a creature with mana value three or less that's well that's a lot of creatures a lot of painful things boros heroic oh they tap out and uh there you go whoever whoever is big with boros heroic but amalia especially it's not destroy so the selfless savior sacrificing itself to give indestructible to amalia doesn't matter she's gone they're not going to bring her back wild growth walker if it makes sense to do so but there you go instant speed that uh, maybe maybe win against amalia i love it it's not a creature that turns off the life gain because the Amalia opponent likely would kill that thing, whether it's Giant Cinderma, Rampaging Ferocidon, any of that stuff. I don't have to rely on one of my things surviving. I just let them do their thing. You exile Amalia, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you win. Hopefully they don't have a replacement in their hand. Possibly, if I am super scared, bring in Terra Sunder. It's kind of like Anoint with Affliction. This costs two to exile Amalia, but Terra Sunder would cost four to exile Amalia, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Could trim Terra Sunder because we have Anoint with Affliction, but Terra Sunder exiling an artifact or enchantment. I do like that, especially because we could be facing off against some indestructible artifact decks is it and soul artifact either dark steel citadel the artifact land if they put in soul artifact on it it becomes a 5-5 indestructible not fun or the the gold vein pick a couple things like that but uh yeah just able to exile any any artifact or enchantment i like it and then in a pinch if the game has gone on long we simply get to exile any non-land permanent paulo Paulo, how's it going? I'm doing good. The opponent won't be doing good. The uh, the black opponent, if they have thought sees, is gonna cry. I dumpstered Rakdos Vampires, a mythic Rakdos Vampires player. Not that they're any different. They all do the same thing, but still, it was extra good because they couldn't thought seize away my Sylvan Scrying, Arc Druid's Charm. None of that. None of that. It was extra satisfying. They actually didn't have a thought seize to play in game one, I believe, and then I got Ley Line of Sanctity. They were ready and waiting. They were gonna duress to get Sylvan Scrying out of the way. Oh, I can't get Sunken Citadel. Nope, nope. Turning thought seize and duress and mostly Vein Ripper into dead cards. Not that impactful. I like it. Mm. Lovely. And Liliana of the Veil, again, for 
anybody that isn't aware liliana's minus two target player sacrifices a creature i've mentioned it before but i gotta highlight it again liliana can't minus two to force us to lose carnage tarrant sometimes that's the first creature we play and then they go liliana and we lose carnage tarrant because it's the only creature we have to sacrifice that's never fun this hand wouldn't be quite so fun in Dath of Triumph as the only land. No, no, no. Uh, technically, it's a little bit better. No. Okay, okay. We got to keep something at some point. Unfortunately, it took a few mulligans. Yeah, yeah, we'll send Regisaur to the bottom. Again, I could get to turn four. I could have four lands being able to make six mana but only six green either playing carnage tyrant or surik and gorkla hmm, hmm. this is this is going to be interesting that's also interesting painful you might be thinking oh did i trim even more lands because i'm not seeing much and okay okay well it's it's at least good that you're seeing nurturing bristleback i forgot to mention that I added in a single copy just to hopefully potentially see more lands a little bit sooner. Increase that chance slightly. Digging for Indatha Triumph because it is part forest. Nurturing Bristleback having forest cycling. You can search for any of that. We're going to do that now 100%. But Mardu Greasevang, huh. Well, I never would have expected that. That is very interesting. Hopefully they don't play Grease Fang yet. Of course, Anoint with Affliction. Grease Fang is a creature with a mana value of three. Boom, we just exile it and um, okay. That's also interesting. What do they have up their sleeve? Pretty crazy stuff that the opponent has three Parhelion twos. Excuse me, in their graveyard. Yep. Oh, oh, absolutely. Lovely to escape those targeted effects. But also kind of nice in a flash. As you can see, things just take a complete turn for the better. We're going Arcdruid's Charm because, well, I don't see myself using it for something else. If we're going to win, it's going to be grabbing the castle. And now look, all of a sudden, next turn, if we're still alive, we get to make six at a minimum possibly seven if we draw another land but yes blay line of sanctity boom start out with it never have to ever worry about thought seize duress hand hate lillian of the veil mono red burn <laughs> good stuff no lightning strike or little pings that's good that's good that's not so good it was a pretty reasonable recovery I would say after mulliganing quite a bit just not quite enough at the very least they can't attack with Hazret the fervent they have to have one or less cards in their hand i think one or fewer okay uh, that's a tough one yeah no we're not winning that no siree no kind of neat all right do i want to anoint with affliction what is this deck that is really the name of the game oh oh look oh you have dress <laughs> well i'm certainly keeping in ley line of sanctity i don't exactly know what it is white black and red vehicles i would assume grease fang although we didn't see Grease Fang whatsoever, cheating out a vehicle from the graveyard and then Grease Fang crews it, it gets haste, and then it bounces back to their hand and usually they have other ways to discard a card and actually that is quite nice. Come to think of it, Hazret the Fervent does have that ability. It's a very nice discard outlet, paying two in a red to discard a card to deal two damage to us and that seems to be their game plan, getting a big vehicle in the graveyard. Huh. Huh. Kind of like Terra Sunder, though. Prosperous Innkeeper. Trim it. 
get it out of the way. Chances are Prosperous Innkeeper would be quite fantastic. Definitely. Possibly getting ahead, well, hopefully, by one. Temporarily with that treasure, a little bit of life gain. Ah. But for the most part, Prosperous Innkeeper probably is the first thing I'm going to cut. If I have to bring in something specific, if I want to. We'll still get there, usually. We got there without Prosperous Innkeeper. Pretty, ooh, pretty good. Maybe not. Certainly could be quite a bit better. If that Archdruid's charm was a Sylvan Scrying, and was able to potentially go with that on turn two, maybe I'd keep it. Well, speaking of, I like this. I like this quite a bit. We'll give it a go. I send Regis or Alpha to the bottom. Again, Pliny's Hatcher with multiple bodies, three in one. Pliny itself, plus an egg, plus the egg that it hatches into a 3-3. Three, three. I usually value that a little bit more than Regis or Alpha. And Sarek and Gorklaw. Again, we could be playing that on turn four. Well, we should. Castle Garenbeg next turn, Arcdruid's Charm to grab the second Sunken. And we're getting into uh, the realm of you know what. Golta Stampede. To okay. Okay. Grease Vang can be annoying. Thought Seas can also be annoying. So, just a little bit unfortunate. We didn't see the ley line. I would kind of expect to see it. Having four, you don't see it in the opening hand. You mulligan. You still don't see it. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but. Um, it's unfortunate for this opponent because if they don't do something quick, they're going to be hit with Tyrannix Rex next turn. Never mind. As I said, Tyrannix Rex, I, uh, I clicked Tyrannix Rex and I already have a Tyrannix Rex. That should have been a sunken citadel so that we would have been able to make seven. Certainly at the moment, that is not going to, not going to happen, sadly. Sometimes I've done that before. I've been so excited. We saved ourselves, fortunately. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Sunken. Sunken. Don't grab a third terrain Rex. You better not do that. Okay, good. Phew. Might as well choose white again. The second sunken white. If we draw into that ley line of sanctity. I did. I did like those clips. Recently, as in today, or or the previous ones, I, I did love those previous ones quite a bit. I'm still thinking of a, a nice aggressive clip, like the real life one. Maybe not quite so much that. I kind of am thinking about something extended, maybe something that happens over three or four seconds. A nice little build up, that sort of feel. Huh. But it was uh, it was pretty amusing seeing the, the island boys be dealt uh, a little bit of pain there. The island boys are uh, they're pretty interesting. But yeah, I think uh, maybe that one was a little hard to tell. I should look for the extended clip. A little bit of a little bit of a wind-up, a build-up. That is a little bit unfortunate. Hey, at the very least, you see how Leyline of Sanctity would have stopped that. And we would have won, I would imagine. Hitting the opponent with the T-Rex again, get him to eight, plus the other one I play, they would have died to the poison counters, fortunately. Uh, nothing really gets on my nerves. It's just interesting, mostly for the island boy's hair. That was that. That was pretty interesting stuff. Could the opponent be dead? Potentially, if they don't have another Lillian of the Veil vale or a Shieldred's Edict. Actually, no. Oh, wait. No. You won. You did it. Math is hard. Tyrannix Rex has 8 power. 
the opponent had eight health. There you go. All right. Well, we just hope that finally game three is the one where I get Ley Line of Sanctity and I stop Liliana's minus two and I stop the Thoughtseize and Duress. Good. The, oh, the Tombstone ones. Yes. I was thinking of uh, the poker. The poker one with Val Kilmer. That scene. I love his expressions and just going to grab it. And I'm trying to work through one that... Hmm, that would be good. And the guy says, oh, no one's that lucky. And then that would be a good time to use it, you know, in here. If I get lucky, if I top deck a second sunken citadel or Galta stampede tyrant. If I'm able to make eight mana for Galta, and then I top deck her. Hmm, hmm, that would be, that'd be lovely. Oh, he is a beast. I'm going to keep this though. Oh, absolutely. It did. It did all work out. And this is kind of working out. I didn't have a Ley Line of Sanctity still to give myself Hexproof, but now we're looking at six green mana eventually. One of these days. Excuse me. The opponent doesn't seem like they're doing anything too particularly scary, though. Yeah. I just felt like getting Castle Garenbrig down just to have it down. I have a forest, but next turn I could possibly draw a Sylvan Scrying, which I would want to grab Sunken, have it be my land for the turn, and I could see some scenarios where I would prefer to have Castle Garenbrig out. I might continue to skip over playing a forest type land and when I'm able to play Castle Garenbrig when I want to I don't have a forest type land out yet so just getting it down and uh, getting dead with Parhelion 2 uh, 12 <laughs> nope nope that's uh that's not happening well that's how she goes uh Sometimes you don't have Terra Sunder. Sometimes you bring in eight things. Possibly I could have brought in Anoint with Affliction to exile Greasefang, Terra Sunder to exile the vehicle. And you bring in eight, and you don't see one of the eight things by quite a few turns in. A quarter of the way through the deck, potentially. That's just, uh, that's how she goes. You would usually hope to expect one of four copies by the time you get through a quarter you've seen the top 15 something like that yeah well, there's not a zero percent chance for that to happen you could have 12 things if you really wanted to be all in on the hate on something specific and ooh. You still might not see it. You could have a third of your deck, 20 cards. Not that I think anybody is doing that, but let's just pretend for uh, interest sake. A third of your deck hates against something specific and you still, still don't see it. That happens. That does happen. Oh, what's it gonna be? That is the question. However, I must say, the queue times have been quite a bit. Finding matches, at least in Explore, best of three. The past day or two, I've noticed it. Almost always going to a minute where before, usually it was 30 seconds at the most. <laughs> That's a keep, 100%. Yes, please. Ley line to start, lovely. In Datha Trium, perfect. It's a forest type land. It's got my source of black. Not that I need the source of black. Yeah. Mad Dad Lab. How's it going? Hopefully all is well. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. It looks like it might be Rakdos Vampires though, so stick it to him. Oh, you have a thought, sees. Don't care. Oh, love it. Love it. A forest also perfect oh oh man i wonder if duress or thought was gonna get rid of arc charm oh 
I guess we'll never know. Oh boy. Oh boy. I feel so bad. I don't. I'm able to make seven mana potentially next turn. I could play. Uh, no, no, no. That, that was a close one. But I could play Trainix Rex if I draw it. I probably want to save the treasure though until I get to a critical turn. Able to play. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go Carnage Tarrant. Able to play Galta Stampede Tarrant. Maybe. Cut, how's it going? Hopefully all is well. But yeah, yeah, Victor. Tombstone does seem to have some pretty fantastic moments for sure. Things are going, you know, pretty good. Certainly quite fantastic having that ley line down. Oh, not having to worry about their discard spells. Exactly. Oh, 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 oh. we're getting we're getting into range of Galta. Let's just keep playing the Carnage Tarrants, keep beating them up. Now the question becomes get the preacher out of the way. Chances are they were never going to attack with the preacher ever. Just because it has death touch, they want to continually hold it back, make sure it's untapped to make me feel bad and scared to attack into a death touch creature. I'm not scared. Get it out of the way. Don't have to worry about it. There it, there it is. There it is. Also nice to have a third Carnage Tarrant in hand. If we draw land that enters untapped next turn, they die. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Oh, 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 did you have some discard spells? Get, get it, get them. Ruthless oh, shucks, this, man, I love it. See you later, buddy. That's what it's all about. You lose. Hmm, perfect. Got the perfect clip for it. I have a lot of perfect clips, but... Uh, Don't push it. <laughs> Don't push it. I'll give you a war you won't believe. <laughs> yeah, don't push it. You can't push it, but... Okay. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Also, Victor, that is a good point. Before they can copy it... Yeah. Yeah. So many lovely bodies... Get it out of the way. They're holding on to it. They're holding back with it for a specific reason. Just make that reason happen. Trade. There you go. Uh, yes. Jurassic Park clips. Maybe combine them with Tombstone as well. Also like this one. I think it was pretty perfect. I'm looking forward to exploring it. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Yeah, there's so much potential for that. Mixing Spongebob and Rambo, Tombstone and Jurassic Park. Who knows? Who knows? I like getting creative. <laughs> I mean, it's tempting. We're just asking for trouble because they couldn't thought seize or duress the previous game. Um, okay, okay. You know what? I'm going to try one more. Okay, we got it. Whew. That is a little bit rough. Now, should I be mulliganing this aggressively for Leyline of Sanctity? Potentially. Possibly. It's a very good question. Of course, their Thoughtseize and Duresses would naturally have gotten rid of a minimum two things, possibly three. If I just mulligan and I get to keep two or three less, but I have Leyline of Sanctity, maybe that makes sense. I would have been down three anyways, but at the very least, now I can't be interrupted as I rebuild and hold on to good stuff. Would I rather be down three from their discard or just not have to worry too much. Huh. Nurturing Bristleback, lovely stuff. Grab that in Dath at Triumph. Not that we need the Source of White or the Source of Black at the moment. But it always enters tapped. It's one land closer. 
We can't play Polanyi's Hatcher next turn, unfortunately. There's going to be some awkward scenarios where eh, we don't have the red for Polanyi's Hatcher. It doesn't happen too often. I could splash for something else just to give the sources of red a, a dual land, maybe a couple more Cavern of Souls or something like that. Hmm, I think it's got to be Galta. Rough. Actually, I can make Restless Prairie a creature. Let's do it. Go time. Man, you know what? I like uh, trying to take down Liliana. Huh. Pretty cool stuff. I don't know that we'll get the job done. If we get a Castle Garenbrig, that would be pretty lovely. If I get Castle Garenbrig, I still couldn't have played Planes Hatcher, so might as well send that to the bottom. Lovely. Yeah, Trainix Rex would be ideal. Okay, okay, well, Restless Prairie again. Hey, at the very least, I'm able to do something. Just keep uh, pressuring it. Okay, it's not nothing. We could recover, hopefully. Cross my fingers. Oh, and uh, it counters blot out. <laughs> I should have used one of the other laughing clips, but target opponent, no, no. Blot out, useless. Thought sees, duress, Lillian is minus two. Hmm, that, that is where it's at. Still, still can't play it. That is rough. That is going to be it, sadly. Soren, Imperious Bloodlord, would have sacrificed the Blood Tithe Harvester to deal three to us. We were at three. Golly gee. Okay. Huh. Trim the Innkeeper. I. I should have. Should have brought in some of this stuff. Extinction events all the copies I certainly am scared of Vein Ripper again at the very least well Leyline of Sanctity does turn it into a creature big creature with flying not a pretty sight is that a pretty sight might as well I get to keep my first hand of course I have two light Leyline of Sanctities maybe the opponent has a little bit of uh, answers for it now they have to have two boom boom ooh Ooh, two forests is interesting. I would imagine I, well, get my third land. Hopefully it's a land that is a source of green. Either getting, well, Sylvan Scrying would be ideal. Okay, but a Sylvan Scrying, ideal. But I'm going to grab Sunken Citadel. It always enters tapped. Castle Garenbrig would have entered untapped. However, I wouldn't have been able to use the one mana from Castle Garenbrig anyways. I don't have a commune with dinosaurs to make use of it. Any of that stuff. Hopefully we get to survive the Vein Ripper. Okay, okay. We're not dead yet. All is not lost. We'll go with Arc to grab Castle Garenbrig 100% if we're gonna survive if we're gonna have a hope this is what we have to do next turn we can make seven well, we'll see ten that should do it playing a carnage tyrant next turn seven ten Okay, okay, hey, well, it's a, it's a big flying creature. I could have drawn Extinction Event, but sadly I didn't have that source of black. No Endatha Trium, Sunken Citadel, I did, well, I did choose green for it. I could have chosen black, and because I had my two forests, really, that probably would have been a better option, just on the off chance that the next draw 
was Extinction Event. To get rid of Blood Tithe Harvester, the Vein Ripper. Yeah. 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 We'll get there. We'll get there. Certainly, the Leyline of Sanctity feels like the right direction because, again, that painful stuff is all too common. Hmm. More vampires. At the very least, I am confirming what the common stuff is. Angry Louie. It feels like I've faced Angry Louie before. That's certainly what I'm keeping, though. Boom. Got it. Opening hand plus sunken in Death of Triumph. Play something with the source. Oh! Ba okay. Rakdos Sacrifice. It's actually quite hilarious because Mayhem Devil is. Well, it's almost useless. The one damage from the Mayhem Devil doing basically nothing. I like it. A lot. Yeah. Archdruid's Charm at some point, or a Sylvan Scrying. We just need to see a Castle Garen break. Getting Carnage Tart. Gonna be lovely. Jund. Okay. Okay. That is interesting. Hopefully they don't have Fatal Push or something for two damage. I would be surprised if Innkeeper survived. Claim the Firstborn to steal Innkeeper. A Corvold. Okay. Okay. I see what's going on here. But well, we're not dead yet. Corvold is not as scary. However, I'm kind of tempted to go with Planes Hatcher. Gain a bunch of life? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, you know what? We're going to go for that. A gain for life negate some of the pain that Corvald is going to deal to us. Could have maybe set up a little bit with a second Prosperous Innkeeper, one Polanyes gaining eight if I had two Innkeepers out. Might have been nice. Yeah. Hopefully able to play the other Polanyes next turn. Or Carnage Tart. Carnage Tart would be pretty lovely. Would be nice to have Pick Your Poison, I must say. Make him sacrifice Corvold. Man, sacrifice Corvold for a single green. That is... That's pretty lovely. You know what? We can make Restless Prey into a creature. I think they could have Fatal Push. Hopefully they don't. Oh, they do. They must. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's how she goes. Maybe they have two. Hopefully not. Yes, no, maybe so. Wow, ruthless aggression it is. It's getting into the range of, uh... Oh! Oh! Grant me revenge! And if you do not listen... Then the hell with you! <laughs> yes! Okay. Well, uh, huh. Let me think. What do I want to do? Anything different? Perhaps. Innkeeper out of there? Terra Sunder in? I could see Terra Sunder being nice as the way to get rid of Corvald, the Fey Cursed King. Pretty painful stuff, although Extinction Event would get rid of it. Corvald. Has a mana value of 5. The Cauldron Familiar has a mana value of 1. Both of those creatures are an odd mana value. So as long as I choose the right uh, choice, odd, not even. We should be in a pretty good position. Nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my gut. Terra Sunder. It's certainly been quite some time since I've faced Jund Food, Jund Sacrifice, but... Hey, Mayhem Devil, a dead card. Useless. If they can't target me with the one damage pings from Mayhem Devil, and if I just simply don't have any creatures out, it's doing a, a whole lot of nothing. Well, that's a tough one. 
I think it's got to be Galta to the bottom. Play it safe, and uh, I would imagine somebody gets discarded. Hopefully not. You, know, you never know. Yeah, Sunk instead at all. I could have gone in Datha Triome because Castle Garenbeg could have been my second land, and then I would have had two untapped on turn two, which could potentially have been, well, very, very nice. Going with Sylvan Scrying to grab whatever I needed, but that's not the case. Next turn, though, as long as there's a... Uh... Oh, excuse me. My goodness, no thought sees. Oh, this is... This is getting pretty good. I don't know. I might use Terra Sunder to take out Witch's Oven. I'm not overly scared about what they'll do, but at the very least, I have two pieces of instant speed interaction with the charm, with Terra Sunder. Let's wait and see if uh, it's something bad. Something scary. Again, I'm not too worried if they get a cat out, sacrifice it a bunch of times to the oven. Nah. Nah. If they go Thoughtseize, we immediately go Arcdruid's Charm to search for the second Sunken, and their chances might have sunken. Might have sunken pretty quick. JDX, how's it going? Hopefully all is well with you. Yes. Hello to the people. Hopefully everybody watching right now, later on, having a good time. A better time than this opponent. Able to make seven seven next turn i'm not making that mistake again don't grab another t-rex second sunken boom choose white as well now i have my two sources of white with the one oh oh well there you go hashtag pre-recorded as i say it but do i want to play it well certainly restless prairie restless prey and carnage turn just get the guy down I don't have to worry about Lillian of the Vale. To... Hopefully it's not Shieldred's Edict. Cross your fingers. Okay, so I should have played Leyline of Sanctity. That's, uh... Now I know. Actually, I'll go Sylvan Scrying. We'll grab a land for the turn. We still have our two sources of white. Castle Garenbeg, 100%. So we get a land for the turn, and we play this... And now we don't have to worry about nearly as much. That that should pack a punch. I have a hunch. All right. Now we don't have to worry about blot outs or any of those shenanigans. Terra Sunder. If they play Corvald, boom. Corvald exiled. Oh, oh, gee. Speaking of, there you go. That's a card. Certainly. Okay. Okay. Pick your poison is something, but uh, also, this is something. Go away. See you later. Bye. They make two foods. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Yeah, I like it. Hopefully, the, okay. I was a little bit worried they might have another one. That was not going to be fun. If we get Galta Stampede Tyrant at any time, chances are the opponent is dead. Or running white uh, cut for the fantastic ley line of sanctity to protect against a wide range of stuff. Uh, mainly, it is the black discard things. Blot out though protects against that target opponent. Boom. Well, they can't target us. But Thought Sees, Duress, the Hand Hate. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to play that. Cross your fingers. Ouch. No Shorted's Edict. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, boy. It doesn't seem like they have it. Good. Good, they don't. Now they're caught between a rock and a hard place. 
that's a pretty big rock and a pretty hard thing to deal with. They could have some removal able to pay the ward for. They have six mana, potentially, some sort of removal for a two, and then, well, we'll see. Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully I get Galta Stampede turn at some point. I would expect to see her any time now. I'm a quarter of the way through the deck. I'll be just over a quarter of the way through coming up. Huh. If we draw another Trainix Rex, next turn, they're dead. I think. Not quite. Corvald is going to get too big, sadly. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Corvald is going to get more than eight power. Will it get to nine? I have to do the math. Turks, how's it going? Well, I'm, I'm going pretty good. Going good. I do like playing in paper. I would love to play in this upcoming season a little bit more. It is kind of difficult, though, with kids. Yeah. Getting to my local game store or tournaments. This is definitely the best thing for me. The best way to do what I want to do. However, the opponent is going to kill us. Next turn with Corvold. Sadly. Okay. Well. Kind of like Extinction Event. Maybe I will go with Extinction Event. Huh. Nah, we'll keep Leyline of Sanctity. Oh, Corvold is a nasty, nasty card. But yeah, I would absolutely love to do a little bit more in paper. I do plan to play it eventually, one day. Oh, 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 oh. give me a perfect hand. Corvold is nasty, but when you have a starting hand with two Sunkens, Castle Gear being in a forest, we're looking at seven mana eventually. You better be scared, buddy. Oh, Terra Sunder too. We need a source of black for Terra Sunder. Boom, we got it with the second sunken here. Good, good. Oh, well, Witch's Oven is, uh, it is something. Sylvan Scrying? Let's go Sylvan Scrying. We have our land for the turn, but might as well grab... Restless Prairie. Really, I should go Castle Garenbeck, just in case I draw Carnage Tyrant or Trainix Rex next turn. If I don't, I'll play Restless Prairie and we should be good. I was thinking maybe Sunken for Red. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Question becomes, do I want to potentially go Terrace? Yeah. Just in case. We have another Castle Garen Break again if I draw Galta Stampede Tyrant next turn. I'm able to play her with this second castle. I like that. If they play Corvald, we exile it. Beautiful. And they could play Corvald with the mana from the Gilded Goose plus a land this turn. Or the treasure from the Goblin that attacks. Huh. Maybe. I imagine they want to preserve the food from the Gilded Goose. Perhaps? Yeah. Play Corvald. Do it. Oh! Oh shucks. What a guy. Well, let's just get rid of him now. Four mana. Boom. I like it. I like it. They'll sacrifice a bunch of stuff, whatever. They should buy us time. I would hope. They're getting pretty low. Galta Stampede Tyrant plus Regis or Alpha. That's getting scary. Or Trainix Rex. Hopefully. That or Galta. Or Arcdruid's Charm to dig for Galta Stampede Tyrant. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully they don't have... Well, we'll find out. 
Ooh, ooh. Something to make us lose Tyrannix Rex. At the very least, I have two Ley Line of Sanctities. They would have to have two Pick Your Poisons just to be able to start to target us, to make us sacrifice a creature, discard a card, whatever it is. Oh boy. Something else. Somebody to pack a punch. Okay, well, a bunch of witches' ovens is uh, more lands. I, I don't need that at all, sadly. But we'll, uh, we'll smack them again. We'll, we'll hope for the best. Sometimes you just get absolutely flooded, even when you have 18 lands. Yeah, it's just uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. I have an overload of big powerful creatures and uh, you'd, you just don't draw them. Yeah. Nuts. Speaking of nuts. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I don't think they can kill us. Hitting us for one, two, four, five... Maybe. It's going to be very close, but... If they can't quite kill us, they're not attacking. And again, Restless Prairie could be made into a creature, even though I would expect a Fatal Push is somewhere in the mixture. Ah, we'll see. Down to 11. Now or never. What's it going to be? Do they have removal? Oh, okay. Don't really care about Restless Perry. I almost forgot. Uh, I used its white mana to make itself into a creature. It would have been tapped, so it couldn't have blocked anyway. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. It's going to get close. The opponent's own Terra Sunder. That, that is quite interesting. Huh. Huh. Well, how about that? Arcturus Charm. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, that is so close. Actually, never mind. Hold on a sec. Arcturus Charm. Tranix Rex. Yes, yes, yes. Is that right? Am I right? Did we win? I think we won. I think we won. Go time. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. They don't have enough to completely block it. They need a total of eight. Or else they're dead. They don't, they don't have it. Oh boy. One, two, three, six. Nope, not gonna do it. One, two, three, four, seven. Seven, that's seven. Exactly enough. Okay, well, I'm surprised I saw that. I would have assumed I haven't had much coffee. I have barely had coffee tonight. It's late, but dinosaurs are great and uh, slow down, slow down and phew, phew, Kebby, Kebby, yes. I'm glad you were there to see that. Tyrannix Rex, pack a punch. Sometimes the game just goes on so long. You can pay three to go with Arc Druids, 
to grab Tyrannix Rex and you still have enough to play it. A total of 10 mana. Oh, all right. All right. Well, I think that's a pretty fantastic nightcap. Almost an hour. I would like to go for two or three hours, but that's just sometimes how it goes. How it goes. Lovely. Lovely to finish. I think Leyline of Sanctity, a pretty reasonable case. Stopping a lot of stuff. Stopping a lot of painful things that have been common for me. And if it's not too hard of a splash, might as well. Might as well. All right. Right. Hopefully everybody has a good night. Good morning, evening, afternoon, whenever it is. Kebby, Cut, Turks, JDX, Victor, Mad Dab, Paulo, everybody else. Right now, later on, yes, yes, peace.